Hey guys, how's it going? Steve. What I'm going to show you do is how I go about making uh, my clipping masks for my characters. It's uh, something I actually started doing, I'd say about two or three months ago. I never really did it that much. Um, I did do it, but it's kind of sloppy the way I did it. But I'm going to show you how I go about doing it now. And what we're going to do is get this mouth to clip these teeth right here in the tongue. And the first thing I'm going to do is grab these teeth here and group them. I'm going to grab the mouth here. Control C to copy it, select the teeth, go in the transparency palette, double click over here, and I always uncheck clip first, then Control P and F to paste in front, make sure you put a fill in this black. Now we're going to clip it and invert it, and unclick that, go back to the layers, and we're going to do the same thing for the tongue as well, so double click unclip clip or uncheck clip control F paste in front fill with black then select clip invert mask go back over the layers and we're going to fill these teeth with white and you'll see what happens when I do that and what it does it overrides the stroke here now the way I do it is being we have the mouth selected I'll just control F and paste the outline of the mouth in front and being it's selected over here in layers I will lock it that way you can't do anything to it and it's covering everything up and then I'll select the tongue cover that in red or fill it with red grab the mouth and we will fill that with black now next thing I'm going to do is clip this ear off right here get rid of all this so I'm going to grab the head control C to copy it Grab the ear, double click, uncheck clip, control F to paste in front. So we have the head in there. And fill with black. I'll go back to the layers, grab this ear, because I wanted to mirror it over here. I'll press O, hold down Alt, and click in the center. I usually try to get it on a anchor point and copy. So it easily mirrored over here and so I got the path in it to clip it, so it's all set. Now I assume this is the hand I made, so I'm going to grab the head, which it was already selected before, but just to be on the safe side, control C, select the hand, double click in here, uncheck clip, control F, and fill it with black. Go back over to the layers. Now I want to cover up this rectangle right here at the hand, so I'll select the hand. What I actually will do is I'll select the hand first, press O, and hold down Alt, click on the center point, and copy. Now to grab the hand again, Control C to copy it, paste over the rectangle, uncheck clip. Control F to paste it in front, fill that with black. Now, if you ever wanted to bring some of the stuff back, what you do is like I'd select the rectangle right here. Instead of using black, I would use white. You just create your path to bring back whatever you want. Well, first you have to have it selected or masked, my bad. So because we have that selected now, bring it in here, control paste in front, and fill it with black. Alright, now I'll show you. Now if we use white, let me take the stroke off. I have my bad. I have I'm having the I have the hand selected, that's why. So if I'm in the actual uh, masking area, I switch the fill over to white. Use my pen tool. That's how you bring it back. And you can easily select beans. Um, you're used, you're bringing the actual stroke from the layer side into the masking side. You can actually select the whole hand yourself. Press delete to bring it back too if you wanted to. But for the most part, this is how I go about making my clipping or my masking for my uh, characters. It's how I've been doing it. It's rather quick and efficient for me because I've been doing it for a while now. And the purpose of this was to show you 
how to go about doing this. I know it's repetitive for me saying that, but this is the method I go about doing it. I'm sure there's other methods that people use, and it could be faster, it could be slower than this, but this is what works the best for me, and I hope it helps you guys out.